everybody. Um, I've got Angus here with me. Hello. He's all the way from Scotland. He's been here three days and he's already here helping me tune the car. Uh, we've been running up and down the road around for about an hour trying to tune it. And then we ran out of fuel. So uh, there it is on the other side of the road. Literally ran out of the fuel uh, probably about 30 meters up the road. And uh, got a fresh bottle of gas. I'm going to try to put that in and get it inside and go get some lunch. And then some more tuning. So there it goes. So we've got some more fuel in the car now. Uh, we're trying to work out, uh, we're trying to get these quickly if I show you. We're trying to adjust these tables here for the fueling. And it seems to be over fueling as we go along. I think it might be because I've got to turn on a compensation, but just to give you an idea of where we are with the tuning, uh, Angus will, uh, will demonstrate. Oh, there's a truck coming, and this car can't be on the road. Keep the hazard lights on. Which so you'll hear the engine clock start to sputter as we get along. Second gear. Discovery driver going past there. Don't know if he recognizes this as a Discovery. It looks rather different now. Most people probably wouldn't know what this is. If I keep my foot off the throttle, I can get up. Sort of. Not too much throttle. Yeah, so that's what we have to deal with. We're going to give this another go. We've got some new, more fuel in here. Bought the license for Tuner Studio so we can do the automatic tuning rather than the manual keyboard. Uh, Aaron was frantically punching in numbers before. Uh, <laughs> Angus, sorry, Angus, <laughs> brain fart. So we'll uh, give this a go. Let's see. It's alive. Here we go. Uh, 60 US dollars to buy tune the, the proper license of Tuner Studio. And you can see over here on the right hand side where it's done all the changes on the table because Angus was frantically trying to uh, you know keep up with reducing the numbers. And we've just done a short drive there and it's already driving way better. Uh, even Angus made a comment on that. Uh, by the way, the <laughs> The squeal in the background is that shot water pump that I mentioned before. Can't do anything about it. So let's see how we go. You can hear the turbo spooling up. Yep. And there's another spot. Running way better. Way better. Already. Within five minutes. Well worth spending the 60 bucks. So we're here on the side of the road. The car temporarily broke down because, uh, well, we, we almost overheated it. Um, it's not very happy right now. A bad earth joint on the um, on the thermo fans on the radiator ended up, they didn't turn on, so the engine didn't get any cooling. Didn't realize until it hit 105 degrees. And, oh, that bearing is a real problem now. There was this. That's where I put the earth on the fans. And it didn't really work. So, the culprit. Uh, the engine overheated because I think this bolt that I've used here isn't a very good earth. Uh, and the fans didn't turn on. And it suddenly decided to not work while we were doing the tuning of the engine. And uh, it took a little bit of while debugging. Like I said, the engine got to 105 degrees. Didn't any 
damage, well, they're just going to be thrown away anyway, but it sounded okay.